Hey everybody, this is Ben from Styles Machinery. And are you struggling with your product design CAD solution? Well, today we're gonna to be talking about a product that just might be right for you and helping overcome some of those obstacles. All right, well, we are here with one of the world experts on everything CAD CAM related. This is Mr. Tony Nujic. Tony, I have a collection of questions here from customers and the rest of the market, and they're dying to know a little bit more about Homeg IX. So why don't we get started? What is Homeg IX? All right, so Homeg IX is our um, CAD CAM solution, so that everybody is familiar with the word CAD CAM. Um, but it's actually a little bit more than that. So we're trying to cover the whole order creation process, but also the engineering, right? So that we can sum that up in one software solution and uh, create all the necessary data for the shop floor, right? So I want to be able to create my job, to process it, and then also have all the manufacturing data because that's what today is driving all these machines, like the one that we have behind us right now, right? We need something to drive those machines. And frankly speaking, we have stopped programming with the machines quite a while ago, right? So that's Homag IX in a nutshell. Now that's the CAD CAM portion of the software. Both of these things are included in this package. Is that correct? That is and, correct. And what is the difference between CAD CAM? Is it the same thing? All right, so um, how CAD CAM works in combination is I draw something in my design solution. That's what we call the CAD part, right? This is where I create my, my visuals right, in a CAD environment. But based on the data that I already have there, so I draw a side panel. Side panel has a material, right? That material actually already has a code, so I can go to the cutting, right? I can use that information to go to the saw or my nested base router, right, and to cut that part. Absolutely. I don't need to create that information again at the machine or somewhere else in an Excel spreadsheet. I already have it. I have the thickness. I have the combination with other parts. How do they work together? That is the CAD environment. The CAM at this point reads that data and creates the machine code, right? But not only that, um, with this whole environment, we have the possibility to read the uh, different properties of those elements, those parts that come together in such a cabinet, for example, right? And I can read that now and create a whole workflow for each and single part I have to get cut. Then I have to get to the edge bed. Mm. Then I need my holes getting drilled. And then at the end, somehow I need to get assembled, maybe, and in the direction of shipping, right? So that is CAT CAM as uh, one unit. And are, would there be any other advantages then, since this is a, since this is a CAD-based software and that's included in that package, right, Correct. CAD CAM, are there any other advantages to the system? Well. Because the system, Homag IX is based on, on AutoCAD. That's the core engine that is generating, creating all the visuals, the visual part, right? We have that AutoCAD core element in there, and therefore we, um, first of all, are familiar with, mm -hmm. because a lot of companies are, are working with AutoCAD. It still has its relevance in its, uh, in its production and its marketplace, right? Um, so it's it's an easier way to get into the software because it's uh, AutoCAD based and you will still have all these drafting, all these possibilities that the CAD part by itself, AutoCAD brings with it as a part of it, right? So that is one of the uh, big advantages here. Now, you mentioned that this was this was based on AutoCAD. Right. right wrong. So um, what would some of the, the, so it's been around, it's almost, this is an improvement upon a legacy product almost, kind of. So, so what improvements have we really made, or, or that we're really excited about in this product that's occurred, you know, over the last several years? Okay, so um, we've had that now for many years that we can build a library inside um, the software solution. Mm -hmm. um, we can build the parts, um, put them together to a cabinet, create a design of a room. Right. Um, what the advantages are that we have recently added is. First of all, we have improved the technology of machining output um, dramatically. Looking back to the past couple of versions, 
or looking just back in the, in the past 20 years since the software has been uh, created, right? Um, we are now able really to, to create a backbone for the production. Not only specifically the data that this machine here needs, right? To perform its drillings, its machinings and so on, right? Basically move from one place to the other sure. and put a hole here, put a hole there, right? Maybe create a routing, cut a groove or a, or a dado or something like that. Um, we can now really make this output more intelligent, right? With automated functions in the background, we can now identify me as, for example, the back. I only need to get cut because the only thing that I do is basically I shoot nails in the back, right? And I'm already there, right? So I don't need to have any kind of additional machining. So I know now and I can identify through the system, this part gets only cut, but my door, right? Like my front, whether it's a plain door or a five piece door, right? This has a certain process and we can identify that up front and uh, display that uh, information, have that available on a label for the operator to have that visible, where do I have to go next with my part, right, after cutting? So I'll put it maybe on the right stack, right? Mm -hmm. The stack that goes, for example, from the saw to the edge bander or to the drilling machine, right? Or from the nested base router to the dowel inserter, right? Because that is the next point that we're using, right? Gotcha. What are three areas within the shop that it would help out the most? Well, if you think about the process that we have in a shop, right? And this is not talking specifically about one type of customer. Every hardy has that process who's dealing with panels, right? So I have to cut the parts. I have to get to the point where I can start that process. So area number one is have a design ready, have a library, and have that design transformed into manufacturing data. That's area number one, right? Then the second thing is the security, right? And the safety that I have with all this environment, I, ha I don't have to interfere manually somewhere, right? So I know what the result will be because I already did it before, right? So I'm repeating it, same again and again and again, because as long as the cabinet does not change by itself somehow, you will get exactly the same result again. Number three is to have the possibilities to do more than that, right? Is to have costing, to have all the drafting possibilities, right? To be able to have some platform for a point of sale, right? These are the three main things that I would say. Now, let's talk about getting started, okay? So yeah. I'm, I'm a, a customer, I've decided, hey, um, I'm a new IX user. Uh, how long would it take me to start using this solution to drive my production? Well, like everybody else, uh, I would first start my answer with, it depends. But uh, let's put it somewhere in a nutshell, instead of it depends. Mm -hmm. um, usually we're uh, ramping up somewhere within a time frame of six months, right? So you have a training um, time frame, right? We need to start practicing. Of course, you need to get into the uh, software. And uh, well, you want to build your own library, right? You don't want to rely on somebody else to pretend that they know, well, this is what you want you know what you want. Somebody else might guess it, but they probably don't know it, right? Um, so ramping up, starting to build um, the own library and start producing that design, right? And send it to manufacturing. We're talking about somewhere in a time frame of six months. Okay. And, and what type of, uh, in, that, in the learning aspect of things, what kind of resources do, do I have access to if I'm a new IX user to help teach me this, how to use this uh, solution appropriately. Okay. So the easy answer is you have uh, access to all the resources that Styles Machinery has, right? That's, that's the simple answer to that sure. question, right? <laughs> but let's put it a little bit more in detail. So um, we have launched now a video learning system, right? Which is a, a self-paced video learning um, where you basically at the end, you have to answer a couple of questions to move on to the next section. And we also then have a session where you have to complete some homework, right? And then you have to pass a test. And if you, only if you pass the test, you are moving on to the next one. So with that, we're not trying to somehow bug the customer, like, hey, you really have to do that. No, 
this is really from our side to make sure that you are ready to move on to the next level, right? And, and that makes a lot of sense because people seem to learn at their own pace as it stands, right? right. And, and to have that test to ensure that quality that, hey, I know the material before it allows me to move on is really handy. Correct. So you will be ready to move on when you feel that you are ready. That's about it. Okay. So from uh, let's talk about from a support perspective. So I have Home, Home Egg IX. I learn it. I become a master of, you know, just like you and Home Egg IX. Uh, if I have questions, though, if I need additional resources, where do I get that support from and what does that process look like? It's the same source. Again, it's um, Styles Machinery. We have our tech support. Um, that's the first instance. If we have to add more training, if we have to elevate to the next level, we're adding maybe some more modules to, to the current solution, right? Um, we have our engineering team, um, our engineers, our uh, specialists, right? who help uh, with the integration process at a customer, um, those people are ready to answer the questions okay. if there is more. So, so let's just say I'm at the beginning phases. It sounds interesting to me. I want more information. Mm -hmm. Who do I call? Well, I mean, just like for everything that comes out of uh, the, uh, the, the, the house of Styles Machinery, right? It's your uh, responsible sales rep. He's the first point of contact, right? And um, they know about that solution, right? So if we need to go deeper then, somebody from uh, the digital solutions team will then join the circle to define what is really needed there. Okay. So it sounds like a really, uh, almost like custom experience, if you will, depending upon what the specific needs of, of, of what, what you have would be. Well, and that's important because all of our customers are kind of a custom, right? They are all unique, mm -hmm. right? So we want to look at your process to build your solution, right? If we do everything just out of the box, well, you will probably end up being just the same like your neighbor, dear Mr. Customer. But you are unique, so we treat you as something unique. Absolutely. Right. Thank you so much to Tony for your expertise and spending the time with us today to talk about Homeg IX. Thanks for having me. Please don't forget to check out our other social media platforms that we're on for additional information on Homeg IX to see if this could be the right solution for you.